For most of the spring, we have been telling you about a labor shortage, and now there's a new phenomenon, the Great Resignation. A turnover reached a 20-year high in April, according to research out of Texas A&M. Experts say this is because there are a lot of jobs available, so people are now reevaluating their priorities as they return to the office. And it's put us in a bizarre position. State data says there are about 192,000 people looking for work, while ZipRecruiter says there are almost a quarter million jobs hiring in Colorado right now. And many of those openings are in the HVAC field, and one which is critical, of course, during a heat wave. Denver 7's Brian Wang explains why those jobs aren't being filled. A moment of silence. Great Guys Heating, Cooling and Electrical, how may I help you? Just hasn't been possible recently at the Great Guys Heating, Cooling and Electrical office in Littleton. With this heat wave, it's been insane. Um, we're fielding roughly 100 to 120 calls a day, booking about 30 to 40 of those. The company's owner, Marcus Fouth, said service requests for air conditioning systems have been rampant during what has been a historic heat spell in Denver this week. Obviously, the more calls that come in and the more appointments we get, the further it pushes out service, which is unfortunate. If it's not an emergency, the soonest appointments aren't available until early July, a reality that is industry-wide amid the pandemic rebound. Our labor force is going through what we call in the skilled industries, you know, plumbers, electricians, HVAC technicians, a massive shortage in the skilled and trades labor, um, I can't hire enough skilled labor people to service our demand right now. The pandemic has also caused distribution issues, which may make matters worse when considering there's an entire summer season ahead. The lag in the manufacturing side of things combined with this particular heat wave as well as the rest of the summer is going to increase that demand. Um, you know, business economics, supply and demand, that's, that's what we all operate on. And when I can't get my hands on equipment, I can't provide solutions to consumers. Bottom line, if the AC is acting up, the earlier the call for service, the earlier the relief.